welcome back to my channel. I'm Ross from Intelligent Tinkering, and as you can see, I have a new toy. That was very kindly given to me from a very good friend of mine, Robert Murray Smith, so thank you, mate. I really appreciate that, and I'm really gonna look forward to tinkering with this. Um, if anyone has never checked his channel out, I urge you, click on that link down below and check his channels out. They are awesome. Um, I learn something new every day. He puts a lot of time and effort in it. He's very knowledgeable, so please check him out and click that link. You will not be disappointed. So, this is called, I believe, Kiddy or Quiddy. I'm no, no good at pronouncing it. I'm not going to hide it. So, we're going to call it the X Max Free 3D printer. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's a great printer. It's got some really good results. It's got lots going on. So, I look forward to sharing the content I learn about it with everyone on here. So, what happened with it when he had it is the head rammed or the bed rammed into the head and damaged it. Um, and I believe this is one of the first ones off the production line um, that had a slight issue with it. So they've now changed the sensor over. The newer ones come with the newer sensors, but this one has the old sensor. So I'm going to take you over and show you what the new sensor looks like on their website. So this here is the new sensor and you have to have this bed with it. And we're also going to have to um, go into the file and update it on the firmware to tell it it's got a new proximity sensor. Um, they also send out a front fascia and a back fascia and a few bits of cable management and cables and stuff. So that is the plan. This is what they look like. It's still in its packaging. Sorry for the glare if there's glare on it. But there it is in the new PCB board to run the two fans. There's the back with the fan on. Um, there's not much online on how to change it. So it's going to be quite a learning curve for me. And there, there's the cable management cables and a few screws and stuff like that so what i'm going to do is i want to get it down we're going to disassemble the head and see if we can do it and here we go so i'll just take the front cover off and here is the head so i believe there is some screws in the back and i believe at one point there was some screws down the bottom so we'll just take that off like that this is a very, very heavy printer. There we go. So I'm going to take these screws out next and uh, go from there. So take the screws out here and to plug in the new stuff. And yet yeah, there's one at the bottom as well and there's one at the other side. I'll give you a closer look in a minute. All oh, right, so they have actually put an extra fan at the back as well. That's interesting. So now I'm going to give you a closer look on the inside. There you go. <clears throat> so there's the uh, the brains of it. Um, we need to get that red cable, uh, which is here, with the blue clip. We need to take that out so we can get that old front fascia out. And this is where the new one's obviously going to be uh, clipped in. There is a white cable here that we're going to need to be careful of. That goes to the head and the heater of it. So I'm going to take that off and we'll go from there. Right, there you go. As you can see, um, I've had to remove this black wire here, which plugs into the very top. I was wrong. It is the green one, not the red one. So as you can see, I've taken it out, which is, oops, sorry, there. So I've taken that out. And we're gonna install the new one, but what I'm gonna quickly do is give you a little look on the difference between the new one and the old one. So as you can see, the old one has just got one fan, and these are both the same. This one is shorter, this is longer, maybe for the proximities sensor. There is the new PCB board, that spare socket there plugs into the back fascia of the fan. And yeah, there's not much difference. They've changed it slightly and added extra fans basically. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to undo the old proximity sensor, which is there. So it's all back to front for me on the camera, but there it is. To take this off with this, uh, like a rainbow color wire, which I believe I've already uh, found, which is here, the one I'm wiggling. So now I'm gonna unplug that, unscrew that, and then we're halfway there. You can see those two screws, one there and one there, and then this should come out once I've unplugged that. So 
here we go, I've unscrewed it, unscrewed it, I am now going to unplug all the wires, so I'm going to do that because it's very very fiddly, and like I said it's very hard to actually get a camera angle on here that's any good, and I'll show you after I've unplugged it. As you can see there's the new sensor, um, I will show you the old sensor, so that must have been like a push sensor or something, but there's a plastic in it doesn't want to come back out anymore it's stuck up inside there sorry for the bad quality there we go so there's the new one um, the connectors are near on the same yeah they go in the same same size so I want to stick them in the same hole and um, there's some new screws to put the new sensor on and that's basically the reverse of what I did taking the old one off and there we go that one's installed so we're now going to move on and put the front and back fascia on. So with this extra PCB board you see here, I think I've worked out where it goes. Um, there is two, if I take you down, that's the only logical place where that goes. So I'm going to screw that in and go from there. So these are the screws I believe that you use to screw in that little PCB to where I found. Right, so now there's the wire. I've basically re-rooted re one of the wires away from the hot end from the front fan because um, you, you don't want that really touching your hot end. I believe it is heat proof uh, cable because it feels different to the rest. But So this blue one now plugs into the original fan that you, uh, you unplugged. And you have to have very small fingers to do this. I mean, I've not got the smallest fingers and I'm struggling. But it's not undoable, right? So, and then I'm going to plug this one back in. I've been very careful, sorry about the quality of the camera, to make sure the wire on the right and the left is away from that hot end. And then that's it. That is literally it done and then it's the software. Right, the only thing that's left is to plug the back in and that goes, I don't know if you can see it because of how dark it is, but that socket just there. Sorry for the really bad camera, but the light is so difficult working in this. Goes there, that board that we, we put in, that's extra. Right, I do apologize again for the lighting, but it's quite dark in here and I've tried to <laughs> brighten it up, but this is um, the printer pad that I've taken off and there's the really strong magnets that apparently were causing the issue with the old sensor or throwing it off because they were very strong. Um, so they now give us one of these to stick, I believe, onto this. And the holes obviously correspond to where the screws are. So you can still get to the screws and undo it. Um, so we've got to try and line that up somehow and stick it there. I'm going to lift it, try keeping it where it was, and then lift up the plastic somewhat to check it's in the right place still. I think we can stick the corners down when we're happy. slightly and then continue peeling it back and that looks pretty good to be fair and I'm just going to pull it out and squash it down as I'm going I think that's spot on I'm happy with that Good job if I say so myself. There we go. So now that's on. This must be on when you have this new sensor. That is a must apparently. So, sorry about the grainy picture, but there's nothing I can do. It's dark in this room and the more light I put in it, the more it blurs it out. So here's my software on the printer. I'm, it's gonna come up here in a minute. So I'm gonna take you over and show you um, how to install it. So here is the whole website. I will put all this in the uh, description below so you can find it easily. 
X Max 3. You go to V4 313 download. Click on that, it will take you to it. Here is the inductive probe. So that's what we're going to be clicking on. Now, you've got to be careful because this just caught me out and I've had to get help from a friend, a um, very good friend. When you download this and you click download, um, it's going to download it and it's going to tell you to unzip it, right? They tell you to extract it, right? So you extract it. Boom. There you go. It's extracting. You, re you need to rename your driver as well to space just put a space when you rename it which I'll show you in a minute so here it is and then you go into it and then you go into it again and it's got two updates you don't need these two updates so what you do is you go in you copy go back one you paste it uh, there in and then you delete that one and you now got one folder to it, which is there. And then it takes you into the update. So I don't know why they put two update folders on it. That really screwed me over, um, but I figured it out. So let me just get rid of that. And where I said about renaming it, up here, you just literally will go to your computer, uh, rename, and you just want to put a space and then leave it at that. Plug it in. And it should come up. If you don't get that coming up, that's the problem. There you go. So now we're going to push update. I'll give it a minute to load, obviously. There we go. And now it's doing its update. And there we go, all fixed and ready to go. It's got the latest software on there. I cut it and edited it out, but it was about 20, about 35, 40 minutes just to upload the new firmware. So now we're on point 13 when it was on point four. It's got the new prop, uh, proximity sensor in there. And it's also got that new pad thing in there, the soft pad. So it all went to plan. I'm now going to do all of its calibrations like it tells you to afterwards. But like I said in the previous, well, a couple of minutes ago in the video, just be careful about that file. They put a file on a file and then the update. You need to take one of the update files out because it doesn't read it. And that got me stumped for ages. It doesn't even say it in there. But she's working, she's up and running. I'll do all the configurations off camera and we'll do a first print on it very soon so thank you for watching please like subscribe and comment and thanks again rob i really appreciate it